Welcome to Visual Basic 101, brought to you by 599CD.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. This is part one of my nine-part introduction to Visual Basic. This course was recorded a little over 10 years ago, in 2003, using Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. Now, I'm sure most of you are using VB.net, Visual Basic 2010, or 2012, but there are still a ton of people using the old VB6. It was, in my opinion, the best version of VB ever made. Now, while the Visual Basic interface and some of the language have changed, if you're new to programming with Visual Basic, this tutorial series will give you an excellent head start. Plus, most of the core concepts covered will provide a good foundation if you plan to later learn Visual Basic for applications, which is used in Word, Excel, Access, and the other Microsoft Office applications. I plan to upgrade my VB lessons for Visual Studio 2012 very soon. When I do, I'll be posting the first level here on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. In the meantime, please feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy Visual Basic 101. And again, keep in mind that this is one of my very first tutorials. It's one of the first ones I ever recorded. So the quality is nowhere near my current standards. But I'm uploading it here because I know there's a lot of people out there who will still benefit from it. Oh, and one more thing. Ignore any email addresses or websites that might be mentioned in the video. My current website is 599cd.com, and you can find more information about all of my video tutorials there. Enjoy. Welcome to Visual Basic 101, Introduction to Microsoft Visual Basic Programming, brought to you by MyOnlineLearningPartner.com and 599cd.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost, and you can reach me at richard at myolp.com. What are we going to learn today? Well, we're going to learn about Visual Basic and what it is. We're going to create a basic program. We're going to learn Visual Basic commands, such as message box, to display a message on the screen. We're going to learn about some of Visual Basic's controls, like command buttons, text boxes, labels. We're going to learn about decision making in your programs using an if-then statement. And we're going to show you how to compile your program into a standalone executable file. Our goal for today is to get you up and running quickly. We're going to cover a lot more details in future classes, but our goal today is to get you writing programs. I'd like to do this with a lot of my 101 level classes. We're going to skip a lot of the theory in today's class because there's a lot of theory behind programming that you don't really need to know right now. So my goal is to get you up and started and writing programs in about an hour. Now, there are some prerequisites for today's class. You should at least know our Windows 101 Introduction to Computers and either Windows 102 Introduction to Windows 98 or Windows 110 Introduction to Windows XP course material. These are pretty basic courses that cover all the Windows basics. How to use a mouse, how to use a keyboard, editing text, and so on. We also strongly recommend that you become familiar with Windows programs like Word or Excel or PowerPoint. Familiarity with any of those Windows programs will help you become a better programmer. It's not necessary to be an expert with these programs, but if you're proficient with a word processor and with a spreadsheet, you'll have a much easier time when it comes to writing your own programs. What version of Visual Basic are we using? In today's class, we're using Microsoft Visual Basic 6.0. If you're using VB5, you should notice very little difference between what we're covering today and what you're seeing in your screen. You will also notice that we're using Windows XP as our operating system, but this makes little difference. You should be able to follow along with today's course, regardless of whatever Windows version you're using.